Another way of sharing YouTube videos without all the distraction is to use Office 365 Forms. The nice thing about using forms to share videos is you could also ask questions uh, within the video. So I'm going to go to my Office 365, sign in, log in with my credentials for school, and I'm going to create a new form once this logs in. Okay, so it's asking me to do that. I'm going to create a new form. You can also create quizzes. So if you want your form to be graded, you can do that, or you can just use it formatively or as a survey. So both ways to do that. So you could go out and, and create it as a quiz too, and that'll give you an, an answer key. So once I've created my form, I'm just going to call this um, learning about World War II. And I could put a picture here in this form. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a question. So we'll call this a multiple choice question here. I'm just going to click that. And then when it's time to add my video, I'm going to go over here to this little picture frame where it says insert a video. And I'm going to just click on that. And I'm going to get two options here. Uh, let me try that again. Yeah, there we go. So hover your mouse on the question bar and then just click that and then you have two options here. I'm going to choose video. Of course, you could choose uh, picture as well. So here's the only change here is you need to paste the URL of the YouTube video that you want. So you are going to have to, in this particular case, go out to YouTube. I'm going to just click there and just type in simple history. World War II. So you will have to get the links. Um, you'll have to bounce back and forth. So that's the only disadvantage to that. Oh, I'm just, let me just say YouTube up here. Just a second. And you'll go out to the search. Sorry, my internet is very slow with everybody using it including my son on a Zoom meeting. World War II, simple history. And that, that should give us some search results. For simple history. And if I go to here, a brief video of World War II, and I'm going to just pause it here. And I want to get the link to this, so I could do it a couple different ways. I could just click the link up top here. So once I have the video that I want, I can just click the share button here, or I can go up to the URL and take those. I think either one will work. I'm just going to copy this, control C, go to Microsoft Forms, and then I'm just going to type in the video and click add. And the video is automatically going to be embedded. It's going to take away again the sidebar and the distractors. And the advantage here is ask a question, please. Watch a video. Watch the video and stop at one minute. And I could I could do a variety of things here with the question. So I just say which countries what? World War II. World War II, according to the video. Okay, so this could just be an example of one question. You could say England, United States, Germany, and so on and so forth. probably ask that question better by saying which countries didn't fight in World War II. Okay, so that would be probably a more appropriate question. But the great thing is, is once you've gotten this uh, all set up with all your questions and all the videos, and you could even do time scale, I'll just show this quickly. So say you wanted it to just 
start the question at 12 seconds, you can just click this 12, and this could be at any time scale. So you could ask the question in the middle of it, much like the program Edpuzzle. And if you copy that, it'll actually start the video where you want it to start. So um, again, you could ask multiple questions on the same video and just make sure that you click this start of where you want the students to pick back up to watch the video. So a little trick there. So anyways, when it's all done, if I click the preview button, this is what it will look like. So the students would see this, they'd see uh, learning about World War II. You've got the immersive reader option here for students with special needs. And you can hit play and students can answer the question there. And then for you as the teacher, you can get data on the other end. And it works on mobile devices as well. So really clean and easy. And I like using Microsoft Forms because it allows you to uh, get some feedback and data as well.